February is Black History Month, and today I'll be taking the Chesapeake African American Heritage Trail self-guided driving tour with six stops along the way and a pretty cool podcast, and I'm already at my first stop, the Battlefield Park. The Battle of Great Bridge was fought at this site. It was the earliest land battle of the Revolutionary War in Virginia. Black people who were enslaved fought alongside the British with the promise of liberty. Wow. This is surreal. I'm standing on the grounds where the Battle of Great Bridge was fought. Wow, it's one thing when, you know, you have like generations of family who you know were a part of this history. It kind of gives you chills. All right, so I'm on my way to the second stop on this drive tour. And I'm headed to the Afro-Union Civil War Memorial. The unknown and known Afro-Union Civil War Soldiers Memorial is the only memorial of its kind in Virginia. It's dedicated to saluting Afro-Union soldiers and sailor patriot heroes. This is right here in the middle of a neighborhood and uh, across the street there's, you know, there's businesses. As you can see, cars are driving by, and right here is where possibly people that I could be related to, you know, who fought in the Civil War. All right, now on to the Dismal Swamp Canal Trail. So during the different wars, including the wars that the English had against the Indians, it was a place of refuge for many of them. They hid in the swamp. Stop number three is the Dismal Swamp Canal Trail. The Dismal Swamp Canal is on the National Register of Historical Places. In the mid 1700s, Virginia Governor Patrick Henry made it clear that canals were the most efficient means of transportation and the grueling work was done by hand, mostly by enslaved people, such as Moses Brandy. You know what's interesting is this dismal swamp was part of the Underground Railroad, uh, you know, a, a traveling program for slaves to escape. So they would travel the dismal swamp searching for freedom. That is, wow. Ah, 5.25 miles. Stop number four, the superintendent's house. I'm getting my exercise in, but I'm walking uh, to get to this house. Like I got a nice long walk. Uh, to me it's long, but I'm sure to the slaves it's a short walk. Cause you can add 15 to 20 more miles to this six minutes of walking I've been doing to get to this uh, home, the superintendent's house. As you can see, very old structure, vines going through it. Uh, I mean, just growing around it. But this is believed to be the only structure still standing on the land once owned by the Dismal Swamp Canal Company. What's interesting is that pieces of this structure were brought along the Dismal Swamp. That's how they got the materials uh, to build this structure here. Wow, so this is the Cornland School. Cornland School was initially established by the formerly enslaved people not long after emancipation. The one room schoolhouse that stands today was built in 1902. It's a neighborhood and there's a piece of history right here in the middle. Chesapeake is a lot deeper than I thought. Wow, Cuffy Town. The Cuffy Town Historic Cemetery has a unique status. It is the largest cemetery for Afro Union Civil War soldiers in Virginia with this status. Several of these men were from Virginia and several were Cuffies. Wow, what an amazing driving tour. I loved it. I strongly suggest if you want to check out and get more information about Black history right here in the area, you should do the same.
This segment is brought to you by your trusted AAA Car Care Center. You can count on us.